Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have the sequel to The Night Fisherman, The Outcast Lovers. Last we left off, we were protecting a child in our boat. You either had the option of getting shot, and the child gets kid uh, thrown into the water, or you get taken prisoner and the child gets thrown into the water anyways. But apparently this is going to be like a 12 part series. This is number 2. And how do we play? How do we do? I am left clicking. Oh, there we go. Hey, I'm alive! I'm like the fisherman, dude. So I remember the last one, you had like the option to move the camera around and stuff, and like look around while you were getting interrogated by the... I guess some kind of like British force. Oh man, he can... <laughs> so starvated that he's walking like he's drunk. Oh, that's a pretty sky, at least. I really like the animation style for these games. It's pretty neat. 2D backdrops with like a 3D character. You're speeding off screen. I don't know what that means. Shoot. Oh, did you hear about Liv's uncle? Stupid bastard was drunk cycling again at high speed. What's his, what's his story? So he swerves his bike off it. Promenade Hill, for some reason, hits the seawall dead on. He's flung over the handlebars right into the high tide. Oh shit! Yep, flew straight in. Knocked his head on a rock, almost drowned. Damn, is he all right? He was when we got when he got to the hospital on the mainland. They checked his records. Turns out he was German, no visa. Doctors called immigration, but the EPG got him first. Now he's gone. No. Hippocratic oath. More like hypocrite oath. Got him. Oh, Jesus. Ola, look out. Oh, God. Holy fuck. Did I just get hit by a car? Oh, I did not last long. No spinal trauma, I think. Oh, God. Why was he on the road? Is Ola a dude or a chick? I don't know. Help me get him in the fucking car, Ola. Ow. Get him in the car now! I want to live! Been dumped off a boat and everything. Barrel keys. Thick. The new obs news observer. Migrants flee UK. I'm starving. Why hasn't anyone worked the fields? Beats me. The immigrants have been caged! I can only move to the right. Channel Island Echo. Local hero doctor returns. Is that Mary? Mary the Hero Doctor. Okay, Ola's a female too. Check. Let's see. You are Ola, a retired cartoonist. You watch the boy set down his knife and fork, the plate in front of him empty. He draws his arms back inside the blanket given to him by Mary, your partner. He takes a few glances around your cluttered home, then seems to lose focus, staring idly forwards, lost in thought. You feel terrible about hitting him with your car. <laughs> I can imagine. Is there anything else we can look at here? What's that in the background? Trash can? What are you thinking? <sighs> Should have been paying attention. But it seems like he was in a bad way even before we hit him. Hope we, c hope we can help. Mary gives you a soft, compassionate look. It's okay, babe. Hey. We only gave him a few contusions. A glancing bump, it's the hypothermia that's the real problem. Well, that and the fact he may still be concussed. That's true, he must have fallen, fallen out of one of the smuggler's boats. He's lucky I'm a doctor. Hypothermia is easy to miss. Where's his blanket? Kid, drink your tea. The boy doesn't respond. Ola, do something. The concussion, he's gotta stay awake. He looks blankly at you. You lean in towards him. Hit him in the head. Thump him. Give him some sweets. Do we have any sweets, Mary? Mary reaches into a pocket and pulls out a roll of... Werther's Originals? What white nonsense is this? They remind me of my grandfather. They're relaxing. Mary passes you the butterscotch car caramels. You <laughs> unwrap one with disdain, then point it at the tea. Drink some tea and you can have this sweet, delicious sweet, little man. The boy looks at the sweet, then back into his lap, uninterested. 
Fucking Werther's Mary? Honestly. More for, <laughs> more for me. Mary flashes her eyes at you, plucks the car caramel from your hand, and eats it. After a moment's pause, you decide to keep the light mood rolling. So picture this, you're in a bar and in walks an EPG member, a politician, a... Oh my fucking Christ, don't bring those racist bastards up. We're already ha having enough of a hard time this evening. It's insane that they even factor into this shit. The English Protection Group are mild, violent vigilantes. No, not an official national force. How are they tolerated? It makes no sense. But immigration enforcement just allow it. They allow dickhead armed thugs to do their bidding for them. Their job for them. Then whatever left over migrants the EPG passes them. What? Leftover migrants the EPG passes them. They just take into fucking custody. Fucking half a job. That's getting hard to read. And even then, I read the other day that they're... They, they're just hold, held in immigration enforcement facilities for God knows how long until they decide to deport them. Half of them don't even end up in the right country. Mary looks at the boy. If he went into their care now, he'd not come out until they deem him an adult, at which point they'd ship him off to fucking wherever. How did he get to this? Mary falls quiet, having run out of steam. Duh. I was just trying to tell a joke, man. Sheesh. You both laugh and the tension dissipates. You check on the boy. He seems oddly unfazed by Mary's diatribe. Well, he's seen it firsthand, man. I'm sorry, love. Go on, then. To tell your joke. Don't feel like it now. Ruined. No, come on. Sorry. I'm sorry, please. So we got five camera angles right there. The moment's passed. Hola. Is there anything hidden like there was last time? There's a car in the background and a light. Fine. Tell the joke about the bar. So you're in a bar and walks in an EPG shitbag. A politician and a man who's been kicked in the head by a horse. Barkeep says, On your own today, Mr. Prime Minister? <laughs> <laughs> you both giggle like much younger women, and surprisingly the boy is also laughing. That's it. On your own today, Mr. Prime Minister. Does he understand? The boy's laughter fades away, and yours follows. You understand us, little guy? Not if you understand. His gaze returns to his lap, unresponsive again. <sighs> what are we going to do with him? I don't know. He walked straight out of the ocean in the middle of the night with no English and a handful of European coins in his pockets. And nobody else around. I'm pretty sure we're right to avoid the hospital and the EPG. Yes, but we should take him to the police. It's not as if the kids go and press charges for the fender bender. You and me are all clear. Facilities aren't so bad. They keep him safe from the EPG once he's in the system. I want to watch the window. For now, he be there for a long while, and who knows what nut job we'll have to in the office next. Well, yeah. Oh, there are people back there with flashlights. Oh, they're coming. Well, yeah, assuming nothing too drastic changes, he'd be safe, though. Behind bars, this isn't like you, Mary. Where's the woman who thinks doctors who bring immigration are hypocrites? This is a child, Ola. He's too fragile to go on his own way. If we take him directly to the police, we can at least make sure he's provided for and safe. What other choice do we have? Look online for strangers who might take him in? All the gestures around the room. He might like to stay here. The boy shrinks a little as both of you eye him. Hold up, be serious. We know jack shit about kids. We made that choice 20 years ago. It's not like we can ask him, and we need to decide this as soon as possible because we're guilty before we're guilty of hiding an immigrant a migrant he'd be in constant danger from the EPG here they're like right behind us bro not like we get visitors we live in the furthest arse end of nowhere and we're already outcast little do you know ironically there are some people right behind you this is a huge commitment you're talking about there's a system in place for people like him to be looked after and fed and protected listen to yourself the system the system would have had him in a fluorescent lit prison with 50 year other kids for years. Ola, this is a child. It's years of our life, a total overhaul of our day to day. We're getting old. 
but he be with real people, not social workers, have a family, even if not his own. Or at least stay free in case his real one shows up. In constant danger of being discovered and going to that fluorescent lit room anyway, or worse. But with the two of us now in jail. You look at the boy, he looks small and a little fearful. You raise your voice. Your raised voice seems to have put him on edge. Oh, they're coming in now, they turn their lights off. Alright, we're gonna pick all the first answer choices first, and then we'll speed run it back and do the second answer choice like we did last time. Fine, we'll let the system deal with him. Who cares about freedom, about having a home? You just don't want a kid around, and that's more important to you than this boy's life. Oh, they're gone. Oh, fuck you. I've done my part for kids like him. I went overseas. I treated them. I saw things I'll never unsee. And I pay taxes into systems to support him. It's not my fault they sh they're shit. We vote for them to get better. We have done for years. Oh, so doctors who bring immigration are hypocrites, but it's fine when you do do it because you pay your taxes? Here he loses goddamn life. If this isn't our fight, it's futile. We've done enough. There's no obligation to bear this burden ourselves. I this is pointless. I this is pointless. You win. You say it's not on us, fine. Your fury hangs thickly in the air. Boy lets out a whimper, his head goes to his temples, you lean toward him. What's wrong, little guy? Did we upset you? I'm sorry. He raises his chin, his, he has his eyes closed and his face looks pain, as if he might start crying, he rubs at his head. I think he has a headache. The concussion? Don't let him doze off. Time for some bedtime music. Don't, no, I hate that stuff. I don't give a fuck right now, Mary. Ooh, we're under attack. Oh, Jesus. This is bedtime music? Down by the knock at the door, you turn the music down. Turn that music down, it is loud, son. <laughs> Banger. A voice comes through the door. Open up, this is Im Immigration Enforcement. We're searching the area, we'd like to speak to you. Mary, shit, how did they get to here so fast? Mary shrugs, the boy looks scared. You walk over to the door. Open up! Mary, I'm not sure about this. Well, see, this contradicts what... Uh, I don't think the other choices really matter too much, unlike the ending. So we'll do this one. We'll do all the first ones. Mary, I'm not so sure about this. It's... It's not on us. You hang your head, then open the door to see the three men in black up uniforms. Good evening, officers. He's here. Please be gentle with him. The officers enter the property. They're polite. They take statements. When all's done, the boy has walked back up the path to the main road, still wearing the blanket Mary gave him. You hear the slam of the van doors. The outside world does not hear of the boy again for six years. Alright, so that's one ending. Now we try to play through the other one. Do do do. All right. We go back to oh, of course not. Why would it go back to the beginning? All right. So from my experience with the last one, no matter what the choices were, it seemed like they were similar outcomes, except for the ending one, which. I guess they didn't really play a part in this second story, though, because the, maybe the old man will show up later. Uh, one thing, I wish the games were kind of linked so your decisions mattered, because I think these are all, like, standalone episodes of the game. So even if, like, I don't think this game has any way of telling if the old man gave up the kid and survived, or if the old man got shot at sea. But, we'll see the other ending anyways, even though I... I think this is more just a narrative and it's not like a choices matter kind of game. I don't think there's any way to speed him up. Go boy, go, run! So you can get hit by that car again. <laughs> he thunked his ass though. I'm surprised he only had like a concussion and some contusions. I think that's a pretty accurate like uh, movement for hypothermia though you do get like 
super dizzy and stuff like that and start falling over like you're drunk. Your body doesn't work the way it's supposed to. He's about to get hit by this car fast. Watch this. Wow. Holy fuck. Dang, I think she drove out even further to hit him that time. I don't think he was even on the road yet. Alright, let's click the other options. Option number two. Hold the right. Go. Do, 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 do. His fault for wandering onto the road. Shouldn't have been in the road. I can't be blaming myself for that. It was out of my control. I just, I still feel terrible about it, you know? You're probably still in shock. Mary gives you a C. It kind of like loops around to the same conclusion, even if you click something different. It kind of makes you think why there's decisions, to be honest. Communicate with gestures. You point at the boy's mug, then pick up your own. Yours is empty, but you can grab it with both hands and pantomime drinking it. Like, you made, like, you did have a different ending in the first one. Like, the old man either survives or he doesn't. But, I mean, that has nothing to do with the next game. The boy is bemused as you glug away at thin air. What the hell are you doing? He's not an alien. He knows how drinking works. You put your mug down and smack your lips for satisfaction. Next, you move the boy's mug closer to him, repeatedly pointing between his mouth and the mug. The boy smiles for the first time, amused by the ridiculous show before him. Well, at least I tried. Embarrassed, you turn back to Mary. You hear her slurp beside you. The boy is not- Oh, this is nicer. The boy is nonchalantly drinking his tea, which Mary finds quite comical. After a moment's pause, you decide to keep the light mood rolling. And now we're back to the same thing. I did like that interaction better, though. I guess that's the point of the voice, is you get different interactions. Tell a different joke. I'll tell a different one. What's the EPG's favorite Disney song? Um, I just can't wait to be king? That's a good one, but no. Tell me. Put that thing back where it came from, or sir, help me. Jeez, Hola. That's dark. The kid's right here. Oh, that's from Monsters, Inc. You both giggle like much younger women, blah, 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 blah. What are we going to do with him? Do, 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 do. Hey, I'm begging. Handing him in is wrong. Think of the difference we can make. Don't let him grow up blocked away. Mary considers for a moment, then sighs. You're right. I just... I never wanted to be a parent. Can we at least agree we'll try to find him somewhere else better suited for him? For him to live permanently? I'm sure there's a charity somewhere. People whose life work would... This stuff is who take him in. People whose life work is this... Ah. Okay, we can try that, but if that fails, no turning back. Mary looks at the boy and she gives in. I shouldn't grow up behind bars. Okay, we're doing this. We'll try to find somewhere better, though. Ah, oh, there is different choices. You'll see, you'll fall in love with him. Don't push it. The house suddenly feels as if it were somehow heavier with the weight of your decision. Boy lets out a whimper, he's... well, this is the same. God damn. Mm -mm. The concussion? Don't let him go to sleep. Time for some bedtime music. Oh god, I suppose he has to get used to it sooner or later. You love it. I absolutely do not. Jam again. Come by the knock at the door, you turn the music down. Boys comes through the door. Open up this is well, we've already read this. Go go go, where? Oh I can actually hide him this time, sick. Maybe I was wrong. In the utility room. So we're gonna have to play this three times. The utility, maybe. Under close in one of the hampers, just go. 
You stand and walk to the door as Mary bundles the boy in her arms and runs into the kitchen, headed for the utility. You stop the music. One second, officer. You take a moment to still yourself. Tell yourself you're doing the right thing. You exhale. You open the door to see three men in black uniforms. Good evening, officers. Did you say something about illegals? The officer enters the property. They're polite. They ask if you've seen anything unusual. What rumors you've heard about smuggling in the area. When all's done, they went, walk back up the path to the main road. You hear the slam of the van doors. Once you're sure they're gone, you fetch Mary and the boy from the utility room. The outside world does not hear of the boy again for six years. Oh, he got caught anyways. Alright, let's do it one more time. Get three endings. I do like that the choice has actually led to different options this time, though. That was kind of sick. Alright. Rematch. <laughs> Ricky Z. I feel like the boy's not going to be heard from for six years, regardless of what I do, though. See how fast we can get him hit by the car this time. The little dude's probably like, stop restarting the game. <laughs> there was another option that I could click to that I'm gonna click as well. Um, when it, she's like, oh, you'll see, you'll love him, blah, 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 blah. Alright, we're gonna get him hit on the beach this time. He ain't gonna make it. Go, go, go. Excuse me. Do 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 do. Ah. Wap. I know we gotta wait. They ain't gonna let me get whapped too soon. He gets whapped at the same point regardless. I guess it just jumps. Dang it. Oh, she wrote for the newspaper. Sick. O Ola did anyways, and she's a doctor. Well, that one was obvious. I didn't know she wrote the newspaper clipping, though. This one, I get to choose whatever I want, unless it's something I haven't chose before. I like that one. That's a good one. I think I like the one about the joke with the bar better, too. bag <laughs> hanging him in is wrong look at that wedding ring nice that's a nice little add-in great we'll try how suddenly feels as if it were somehow heavier with the weight of your decision the boy lets out a whimper same thing That music is so banging though, so loud. Da -da -da, enforcement. Alright, we hide him outside this time. Back door maybe? Run him down to the dunes? What if they sent someone around back? Just go. You stand and walk to the door as Mary bundles the boy in her arms and runs out the back door. You stop the music. One second, officer. You take a moment to steal yourself. Tell yourself you're doing the right thing. You exhale and open the door to see three men in black uniforms. Good evening, officers. Did you say something about illegals? The officer enters the property. They're polite. They ask you if you've seen anything unusual. What rumors you've heard about smuggling in the area? When all is done, the, they walk back up the path to the main road. You hear the slam of the van doors. Once you're sure they're gone, you fetch Mary and the boy from the dunes. 
Ah, the boy didn't get caught this time. Did he get caught in the utility one? I don't know if he did or not. I think I was reading it too fast. The outside world does not hear of the boy again for six years. Sick. So you can not get him captured. I wonder what the episode three will be then. If it's where he gets captured or if he doesn't. I don't know. But thanks for watching as always, guys. And, um... If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to try it for yourself, the game for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. Alright, guys. Ah.